Okay, this is a response video to the question from the pumpkin, and he's asking the question, what are your top five gaming villains? And this was really hard to put together. Um, I tried to think of villain as in a personality, not as in you know a boss that I thought was quite fun to play against. So the first one that comes up on the list is LeChuck. Um, I really like LeChuck from the secret of Monkey Island and he changes a little bit in each game so he starts off as the ghost pirate I suppose it's spoilers but whatever it's a 30 year old game nearly um, he starts off as a ghost then he's a, a zombie then he's some kind of fire demon and then I forget what it is on the fourth game I think it's the same and the idea is there's some kind of love triangle with um, your character, Gyrus Threepwood, uh, Elaine Marley and LeChuck, and yeah, Elaine doesn't reciprocate his affections, and the whole game is really him trying to win her back, and the, the thing about the character is he's really quite manic, he's quite scary, he's quite intimidating, even though on the surface it might seem like a silly you know, plot point, the character is just really well written, and yeah, so number one would be LeChuck. The second one is Forrest Kaysen. Now, I've got to be really careful with this. If you haven't played Deadly Premonition then don't watch the rest of this video because it's a spoiler. Um, Forrest Kaysen's this really kind of friendly man in kind of his 50s, slightly overweight with kind of dungarees and a beard and yeah, he's got like a Dalmatian that follows him and he sells things, he's like a travelling salesman but you find out that he's the main villain and he's really sinister and that there's this idea of a raincoat killer and you find out he was the one, I think in the 50s or before, who took these red leaves and made this gas and that, that turns the, the, the village mad and yeah, he's really evil and you don't find out until late in the game. You, you've got this character and you just don't suspect that he's the bad guy and he is. And he's a bastard. So yeah, number two. So number three is Shodan uh, from uh, System Shock 2. I haven't played the first one. And again, this is kind of spoiler. Um, actually, the rest of them are really. But you start off in the game and you're on the ship alone and it's a... well. System Shock 2 is really the, the precursor to, to Bioshock, so the story is quite similar. But you start off on this, this space station and there's someone helping you. And you get these video messages and audio messages. And you find out later on it's the, the boss or the, you know, the villain from System Shock 1, which is Shodan, which is the computer that's gone mad. And as the story develops, the character gets... You realise that this, this friendly voice is really evil. And I think it was done a lot better in System Shock 2 than it was in Bioshock because the story was quite similar. Uh, so the next one is Racing Evolution, spelt wrong. Um, in the US it was called Apex and it's a racing game on the Xbox and you think a racing game. There's a character that you, you race against towards the end of the game and it's this black helmet uh, that they're wearing. And you can't see, it's kind of blacked out and they've got the thing and they've got the leather jacket on and it's this mysterious person and you realise at the, at the end of the game, this is a big spoiler, you've got a secretary in the game all the way through and then the big reveal is that this mystery driver is the secretary. So, you know, this, this takes off this completely blacked out helmet and it's the secretary underneath you realise, oh right, okay, so the person that's helping you build your garage is actually your main competitor, which I thought was quite fun. And the last one is Psycho Mantis. Now, this is more of a cool boss mechanic rather than the character. The character, I haven't played Metal Gear Solid for a long, long time, uh, but I remember this boss and he's got psychic ability. And when you control your character, he always knows what you're going to do. But if you pick up the second controller, that's how you beat him. And I thought that was quite a cool mechanic. So yeah, so that's five um, five villains. I suppose the other one, I'm thinking back to the, the racing evolution, is 
the devil's car in Ridge Racer, I think, was it the first one? Or was it Ridge Racer Revolution? That was quite a, a cool character, even though there's no person associated with that. I still like the idea, but it's it's similar to this this idea. So yeah, I'll leave it there. So this is my five um, best villains in games. And this was really, really hard to put together, just because if you don't count RPGs, I couldn't think of any. Don't know, maybe that's my recollection being bad, or maybe there aren't that many that are memorable. Who can say? So yeah, I'll leave it there. So thanks very much for watching.